Hello everyone. In this video, I'll go through the steps in creating a guestbook with Redis and PHP. Um, in a previous video, I had already created uh, the theory behind creating the guestbook with Redis and PHP. Uh, so if you haven't watched that video, go ahead and watch that video. Uh, that will give you a good understanding of what we are doing in this video. A uh, couple of things uh, before we start. Uh, so make sure you have uh, an account in Google Cloud Platform. And also in this uh, tutorial, uh, there are some configuration files. There are some deployment and service YAML files. Uh, go ahead and uh, download all these uh, six uh, uh, configuration files. So I have already downloaded all these configuration files. Um, so you, you see all these files here. And uh, go ahead and open up your console um, and make sure that you're in the proper location as well. OK, so the first thing we want to do is we want to go ahead and create a project in uh, Google Cloud. Uh, so let's go ahead and create a project. And uh, I will call this Guestbook Demo. And I will go ahead and create it. Now, this should uh, create the project Guestbook Demo and also give you a project ID. So you see that it is uh, in the process of creating this uh, Guestbook Demo. Uh, I believe it has completed it. So let's go ahead and click on it. And uh, so you have a Guestbook Demo uh, project ID as well. So the next thing we want to do is um, we want to go ahead and set our config file so that we don't have to type in the project ID over and over again. Uh, so in this case, our project ID is, uh, give me one second. Project ID is guestbook demo. OK, so we'll set this config value. And the project itself, um, the tutorial that we are going through, that's the location of this tutorial. It's found in Google website. I'll also put it on this YouTube video as well. Uh, the next thing we want to do is, since I'm in Atlanta, I'll set my region as uh, US East. So I will set this value as well. Now, all these commands are in the tutorial. I've just copied them into a notepad, so I don't have to go through the tutorial. OK, now what we want to do is we want to create a cluster with three nodes. And for that, we will run this command right here. And to do this, we also need to enable the API. So this command will fail. And it will tell us that the APIs are not enabled. OK, so here it says, uh, please ensure that it is enabled. Uh, so let's go ahead and enable it. So we will copy this link here. Yeah, let's go ahead and enable the Kubernetes Engine API. And this will take, I believe, a couple of minutes. So I will pause the video and come back soon. OK, I believe the APIs are enabled at this moment. So let's go ahead and run this command again. And hopefully, this time it should go ahead and create the, the cluster. Yeah, so right now it is creating the cluster. And when it completes creating the cluster, what we should have is uh, a Kubernetes cluster with three nodes. Uh, so nodes are resources where you can run your containers. OK, looks like the, uh, the cluster is created. Uh, so we can get uh, information about this cluster by running this command. So this will list all the clusters. And we've only created one cluster. And yeah, so we have a cluster here. And within this cluster, the number of nodes that are running is three. So we are good to go. So the next thing what we want to do is we want to set up the Redis master. Uh, so we already have the deployment file. So it's just a matter of running this command. Uh, so let's go ahead and uh, 
run this command here. Now this Redis master is deployed in any of the three nodes. Uh, so we have uh, uh, three nodes here. Uh, so the Kubernetes controller can deploy the container in any of these three nodes. So it puts it in a pod and it uh, deploys the pod in any of these three nodes. So the Redis master is created. So let's go ahead and uh, get the pods. So this container resides in a pod. Uh, so, so we will have a pod and within this pod is your container. Uh, so we will have something similar to this diagram here at this moment. Uh, we don't know exactly which node it is running in. Now the next thing is uh, we want to run this uh, master service. Uh, so uh, what we we'll go ahead and run this. Now we know that uh, the pod is running, uh, but we need a reliable way of, uh, of communicating with this pod, and therefore we have the service. Uh, now the service uh, Redis master is created, uh, so we can get information about the service as well from command line. Uh, we can get information about the service. We can also get the same information from the uh, from the UI as well. Where's my UI? So if I go into service, uh, I should get the same information as well. So yeah, so there is your Redis master that we just created. And we can get that information from command line or from the UI as well. Uh, so the next thing what we want to do is create these slaves. Uh, so we are going to create two slaves. Uh, so I will run this command here. And what we will end up is we will end up with uh, something similar to this. Now note that we also have another pod that is running the master. So, uh, so we'll have uh, uh, three pods. Uh, so one pod is going to be running the master. Uh, we don't know exactly which node it is running in, but we'll have a, a pod running the master and two pods running the slave. So let's get information about the pods. So you will see three pods at this moment. Yeah, so you have the Redis master pod, and then there are these two Redis slaves as well. And the containers runs within the pod. So the next thing what we want to do is we also want to create a service for the Redis slave uh, so we can reliably talked to, the, to them. So the Redis slave is created and we can get information about the service as well. Now we will have two services, one for the Redis master and one for the one for the slave and then the Kubernetes cluster itself. So there's three of them. So that's like at the top level. Now we want to set up the guestbook front end uh, now, this one, we have three replicas that we want to uh, deploy. Uh, so by deploying this, uh, it will deploy three pods. Uh, so um, if I do just kubectl get pods, I will have uh, about six pods running. Uh, one for the master, two for the slaves, and uh, three for the front end. And these are still creating, so let me run it again to make sure that they're running. Uh, okay, so one of them started running. The other two pods are still being created. Okay, now all six pods are running. Uh, I can also filter um, by the labels. Uh, so this will give me just the pods for the front end. So by running this command, I'll only get three pods. Yeah, so these are the front end pods. Okay, and uh, in a similar way, we want to create a service for the front end. Now, the front end service, um, we want to make sure that it is set for load balancer. So, if I go into my front end service, 
yeah make sure that the type is set for load balancer in this way the ip address uh, will be externally available as well um, and if i go to this commands now it may take a little while for the ip address to be externally available so it's still pending uh, so i will pause the video but before i pause this cluster ip address is an ip address uh, that is only available within the cluster uh, so th what we want what we are looking for is the external ip address uh, so from a browser we can talk to this uh, apache server uh, so i will go ahead and pause and come back once the external ip is available okay now the external ip address is available so when i do get service front end uh, you see that there is the external ip address available now if I open this external IP address in my browser, I should be able to access this application. And I can put this is Milton, I can submit, and this is this tutorial is cool. And I can submit. And it's all persisted in the Redis database, so I can even close this session, maybe open another window, and I should be able to see these two messages. Okay, so now this is working. Uh, now what I can do is I can scale the front end. So initially, we only have three deployments, assuming that our application is very popular, everyone wants to check out the guestbook. So now we can scale this. Now we can have five replicas. So we'll have five pods. So if I check the number of pods, now I should get five pods for the front end. Uh, so yeah, so one of them is still creating. Let's see, make sure everything is running. Okay, but eventually it will start running as well. Uh, okay, so now we have all five pods running on the front end. Um, so that's basically the tutorial for this, uh, for this session. Uh, now we do have to clean up, uh, so we don't have any charges. So I will go ahead and do the cleanup. And uh, for the cleanup, the commands are fairly simple as well. Uh, so first we want to delete the front-end service. And by deleting the front-end service, it also deletes the load balancer as well. So the external IP address is gone as well. So I will go ahead and delete this. Now this is done asynchronously, so it deletes the front-end service, but the load balancer is still, still being deleted in the background. Uh, so we'll wait for the load balancer to get deleted. Uh, so by running this command, we'll find out when the load balancer gets deleted. Uh, but at this moment, um, the, it's being deleted in the background. Uh, so it looks like it, is, it has been deleted. So we can go ahead and delete this cluster uh, that we created, this uh, guestbook cluster. Uh, so along with it, it deletes all the, the, the pods, the uh, everything. So we are going to delete the, this entire Kubernetes cluster. So we'll go ahead and delete. And uh, this is, yeah, so we'll confirm to delete. And it will delete the cluster guestbook. I will pause and come back once it's deleted. Okay, looks like the cluster has been deleted. Uh, so the next thing is uh, go ahead and delete the project, the empty project. Um, and um, that's it, that's uh, all we have. Um, so that's how we create this uh, guestbook uh, with Redis and PHP. All the source files are already in the GitHub. Um, okay, good luck, thanks, bye.